Hey Megan, it's Laura Lee. Sorry about the extra background noise. Um, I just wanted to pop in quickly and show you how to make this zap. Um, so the one that I made last night is coming from one one Mailchimp list to the other Mailchimp list. list. So it's basically taking it from um, my new subscriber or my membership site and then adding them to another group inside of my other list. I'm going to make a dummy one actually. I think what I'll do is um, I'll just click make a new zap that'll be the easiest because then you can see which um, which things to choose so um, I'm ultimately gonna just do exactly what I did yesterday I'm gonna choose a trigger which is MailChimp and it's going to another MailChimp thing which is a little bit strange normally it would be you know connecting to a shopping cart or something like that so oops, I think I just jumped ahead okay so the trigger is um, when someone subscribes that's new. So a new subscriber. Um, so when a new someone new subscribes to a MailChimp list, I'm going to add them to another list. And then I'm going to click continue. And it's already connected to my account, but you'll if you haven't done that yet, you'll need to. Um, so you can just click on uh, connect your MailChimp account and it should walk you through those steps. That part's pretty straightforward. And then um, it's asking me again twice because if it had been another service provider, it would have asked for that too. Um, so in step four, we're going to look at which list and it will pull from my list. And here I'm going to choose um, from my asklorley.com membership and I'm going to add a filter this time. So my filter will be that it's part of a group. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can get that to, to come up. I don't even remember where, it, where I got that from. Oh yeah, there we go. Merge groupings. And um, I had to physically text this, or um, type this in, so exactly matches. And um, so I want it to match those exact words and then click continue. So that's the name of the group that they're in. And then I want it to go into my main list. And I'm going to add the email address here because it's required. Let it pop up. There we go. And um, I'm not going to send them an extra email. I'm not going to send them an extra welcome. And um, I'm going to put subscribers into um, interested in. So I'm going to put them into this one specific list. And then I could be wrong, but I think that might be it. All these other ones are optional. So you could probably pull over some of the content if you wanted to. I think on the original one, I added in their IP address and, and that kind of thing, but I'm not going to do anything on this step. But you can look through and see which ones you want. And then just click test this app and you should be done. And I'm going to stop this video. Hopefully this helps. I'll talk to you soon.